So hey everybody, this is Diego Cárdenas with Remax Premier Homes, Homes and Casas and now Solo Condos trying to get this all this information for you guys to benefit you to get into this uh, beautiful uh, market that is uh, the pre-construction market and especially here in Hamilton. But today we have a special uh, guest, a special person that is allow us to be in this amazing studio in Hamilton um, to talk about this, to talk about pre-construction and this specific project. James from the Millburg Group, and now he's also representing this great developer, uh, Fengate. So, James, talk to you, uh, a little bit about you first and what you do in Millburg. Well, absolutely, yeah, Diego, thank you so much for coming in. Um, so, my name is James Burdine, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at the Millburg Group, uh, and I've been with the Millburg Group for about nine years. Uh, Millburg is a company that effectively represents some of the top developers throughout the city. So, throughout the GTHA, we'll work with companies like Fengate. Um, to kind of represent and, and sell their great projects. Beautiful. And but explain to us, like, you know, and for the people that are on the other side yes. uh, of the camera, about like, is uh, they choose you or you actually pick them as, as developments? You know what I mean? I, I think it's a marriage, right? Like, I think it is something that it's, it has to be mutually beneficial. So mm -hmm. there is uh, obviously, we're looking to work with great developers like Fengate, but then at the same time, I think they have to look at us and see the value that we'll bring to a particular project like 75 James. Beautiful. And now, you know, this developer, like, can you tell us a little bit about this developer in specific? So I think that the developer behind this project, there's, there's effectively three partners. So you have Fengate, who's the developer. Uh -huh. You have the High Rise Group, who's the project manager. I saw it, yes. And then you have Liuna, who's wow. a, a proud investor in the project. So it really is this, uh, this trio, right? This fantastic spart sponsorship nice between the three. There that bring this synergy, that bring this, um, that are bringing this project to life in a way that you will not see otherwise throughout the GTHA. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the project is actually currently under construction today. And it's only because of the robust nature of these, these three partners that have allowed that to take place. So just for reference, Fengate has been in the industry for, for over four decades, wow. right? It's, it's okay. a developer that is uh, assets totaling over $25 billion. So an absolutely monster developer uh, that's completed in their residential arm over $9 billion worth of projects. There's $4 billion worth of projects. So there's a lot of credibility. Lots of credibility, $4 billion under construction today. Mm -hmm. And they're bringing 10,000 units over to, to market over the next 10 years alone. Wow. So it truly is a, a massive developer that, that not only has an exciting pipeline, but lots that they've worked on in the past as well. Well, that's definitely a good point for the people who wants to invest in pre-construction because they need to make sure that they are investing their money or they're putting their trust, right, yeah. on a developer that only has a good portfolio, yeah. has a nice history, great credibility, and also they know they're going to finish the project because we see a lot it's, of things happening. It's the project. most important thing, right? And any pre-construction purchase is, is going to be a lot of money, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're putting your, your money, your hard-earned money, behind a developer that will bring this project to finish and will bring it to finish in a way that you would like it completed. Yeah, and because it, what is it about pre-construction? Like, I mean, why to believe in pre-construction? I mean, it's four years that, you know, yeah. from now, right? So you're gonna put all your trust, you're gonna put your money, your yeah. savings. Uh, there's a lot of people that probably perhaps cannot afford something today yeah. and they wanna prepare for the future and four year time. And that's something that we always said to the people invest in your future, invest in your future, especially on something like this, yeah. that eventually is gonna gain more and more value in places like this, right? I, I think it's a great way of putting it, right? Investing in your future, right? And I think that pre-construction provides a lot of advantages for a number of different reasons, but one of which is gonna be kind of the, the staggered way in which you're able to purchase the property, mm -hmm. right? So for this project, for instance, there's gonna be a 15% deposit structure over the course of 720 days. You made it much easier than most people, definitely. Right, so if you're buying something that's resale today, mm -hmm. you would typically have to have a 20% deposit. Yeah, yeah. Right, at, at, at least. And qualify today for what it's like. Qualify today. And start well. making the payments on these. Payments today, maintenance crazy times today, that we live in. So on and so forth. <laughs> exactly, right? So this provides you the opportunity to purchase something that is, that is coming up in the future, mm -hmm. that will be built. It allows you to kind of defer that payment schedule over the course mm -hmm. of an extended mm -hmm. period of time. But then it also allows you to, uh, to buy into a market today and then take possession with that future value as well. 
I which I, I think is something that's very exciting, and it's, it's one of the reasons that mm -hmm. a number of uh, kind of purchasers like to purchase pre-construction, because you're buying at today's value, but then the reality is this is something that will be ready in a few years' time. Beautiful. And not only is uh, for the people to actually live here, like you, you also cater to the investors as well, yeah. right, who can have a, a, a good vision, you know what I mean, of what's coming in the near future for yeah. Hamilton itself. But Correct. why Hamilton? Why these, you know, developer bank could say, you know what, we're going to put all our, our effort and money and developing something beautiful in Hamilton compared to other cities? So I think that Hamilton's going through this really exciting period at this time. Right, there's so much growth, there's so much investment, and it's investment from both uh, kind of the, the private sector as well as the public sector, mm -hmm. right? So you have these, these massive new infrastructure projects coming in, like the LRT line. Yes. And what's exciting about that, especially for this project, is that it's a $3.4 billion $3 .4 project. $3.4 billion, yeah. Right? But we're, talking, we're in the billions now. We're within, not in, never mind the, billions. the millions, no, right? Not in never the mind millions. the millions, we're at the bees. But it's, it's coming up only 200 meters away from the project. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's it's something that's a short, two minute walk, less than, to get to this massive new infrastructure. And you project. are right in the center. Like I saw in the map, right you know, and the we were coming yeah. here. You are right in the center. You know it, what I mean? Of everything it, is happening. It doesn't get better because mm -hmm. not only do you have this this LRT line coming up two hundred meters away, but you also have existing infrastructure. Mm -hmm. The GO train line is only two hundred meters to the south of us. So your walk score is. 96. 96. 96, right? An incredible walk score. It can't be, be any better than that. No, it doesn't get any yeah. better. You have an incredible transit score at 86, but that's also only getting better with time. Mm -hmm. Because that 86 is based off of the GO train currently. But what is happening right now? But when the LRT comes in? Exactly. It's just going to get better. Going to get better, So yeah. not only, again, you're purchasing today in an area that's undergoing all this development, all this growth, all this excitement, but the best part is by the time you take occupancy, all of these projects will be complete as well. And also, like, you know, they're going to be remodeling the whole entire, like, strips, you know, Hamilton itself. Absolutely. Like, you're going to wipe that idea of Hamilton, you know what I mean, on the past, and now you're going to bring this city uh, to, to its beauty, right? right. And There's more potential. Absolutely. And I think it's one of the most exciting things about purchasing in an envir environment like Hamilton, right? You're, you're buying at present-day value, which is around 1,025 per square foot in this project. Typically, Hamilton's around... 1,073, give or take on average. Mm -hmm. But you're buying at present day, but if you look at the investment that's taking place in this area, right? First Ontario Center, it's a $500 yes. million dollar investment that's taking place. So that's uh, on the private sector, that comes from the government? I, I think it's a partnership. Okay, in a partnership, right. good. Yeah. So that's why you were saying, sorry to grab, but you know, before, we, uh, before this conversation, you were talking about you know, the government itself, like the city itself, you know what I mean, is investing a lot of money. Yep. In, in Hamilton, so then you say like, okay, the, if the city is investing so much money, yes. right? Why not us to get in and because exactly. we know that what's gonna happen, yeah. right? That's and basically what it is. There's a few others really kind of significant projects like the waterfront revitalization. That's a good point. Right, yeah. $140 million. So that's gonna be the government, again, funding a new waterfront, new recreation, new kind of excitement for the area. Is in a time frame for that? Uh, so it's, it's going to be coming up. They're starting kind of the, the planning process and they're actually starting construction at present day. Oh, okay. um, but this is going to be a, a project that will take uh, a number of years. Okay. Right. But it's exciting because, again, you're getting in at the ground level mm -hmm. and you're getting in at the entry point at a price point that you cannot find in the GTHA today. Yeah. So the, the, the growth, the expansion, the full potential, like, you know, in the next, like, I would say like four to eight years yeah. is going to be huge, right? Because we have the space, the land, and we have these um, uh, opportunities that people can come in at the earlier stage, basically. Exactly. And I, I think what separates Hamilton from other parts and other cities throughout, throughout Ontario uh, is the fact that, again, from a pricing standpoint, 1,025 per square foot, but if you look at the rental rates, mm. right, the rental rates are significant and comparable buildings we're, we're looking at it. Um, two bedrooms are, are averaging right now about 3125 and that's this last month. These are recent numbers are recent over numbers. the last 30 days. Right? Imagine Which, in four years' time. Exactly. So it's, it's an important consideration because if you were to look at different cities throughout Ontario, if you were to look at Toronto mm -hmm. and the downtown core today, the average is about 1773 wow. right, per square foot, right? 69, 70% more expensive than purchasing at 75 James. Yes. But from a rental rate standpoint, that doesn't translate. Yeah, it's pretty much similar. It's very similar. The downtown is only about 9% more. 
from a two-bedroom rental rate standpoint on average. And I guess a lot of people, they realize, okay, Toronto is very saturated and stuff like that. They maybe wanted to work from home. They can still are gonna have a great waterfront view, right? Waterfront view <laughs> and, and cost of living in Hamilton as well. Cost of living is, is 25% uh, less. So you're mm -hmm. able to get more for your money, which I think is one of the reasons why you're seeing this, this excitement come to Hamilton. You have this tech resurgence. Yes. Right, there are these massive tech companies. There are big companies like Amazon that are coming to Hamilton. You have Omnia Bio that's just spent $580 million on a brand new facility out at McMaster. You have great schools like McMaster. Yeah. We right? were talking about McMaster you know, a few minutes ago, how yeah. people were saying, you know, I have some clients and uh, they were telling me about like, what's gonna happen when people are really, don't need to go to the campus because they are getting all these programs that they can actually do it from home. Like, I mean, do you guys take that into consideration or you still believe there is gonna be a lot of international, um, you know, students coming in or it's gonna be a growth for McMaster? I, I think that top schools will continue to grow, okay. right? And, and McMaster being the fourth best university in all of Canada will continue to see growth. And I think one of the important considerations as well is the fact that if you look at these schools, what they do is obviously educate, yeah. but they create networks too. And having the networking ability, going into a classroom, having that collaboration, that's one of the most fundamental things about going to school, period, that you will not get if you're taking school online. So I think that those schools will always continue to grow. And as the notoriety for schools like McMaster grows, mm -hmm. you're just going to get more and more people flocking to it. Well, this, this is amazing because compared with other people, uh, countries in South America, let's say, for example, that we don't have that option that you can actually live close to the campus or in campus. You know, uh, it brings a totally different idea that I see more and more than kids. They take that opportunity, they take yeah. that chance, and they're like, Absolutely. okay, I want to live home. Uh -huh. I want to go and live uh, independently and then focus on my career. And this is a great opportunity for people to, uh, perhaps the parents, maybe they can say, oh, if I know that my kid's gonna pick one yeah. of those universities in the future, maybe I can invest now because that is where my kid can reside in and 2026. Absolutely, and one thing that we're seeing as well is there's gonna be either students or their parents that are, students that are close to. close to, but that are currently at McMaster. And they're saying, by the time, I don't wanna leave. I wanna stay in Hamilton. I know I wanna be here. So I need to invest in, in purchasing a property that is close by. And again, being five minute walk away from McMaster downtown campus really puts you in the center of the city. Wonderful. Well, I can see there is a lot of different um, factors why people would like to invest not only in Hamilton, yeah. but now in this specific project as well, because they have great incentives, right? We have great uh, deposit structure, right? Deposit structure is incredible. 15% 15, yeah. 15 over the course of two years with 2.5% increments, so really okay. extended. Okay. You know, I see this like just new recently. Before yeah. it used to be like 5, 5, 10, 10, or yeah. something like that. And now yeah. it's like 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. And it's giving a, a lot of uh, room for people to save some money little by little. It's important because again, if you're purchasing something that's a few years away, the ability to, to purchase with, with steady and, and kind of reasonable increments mm -hmm. makes you, uh, it allows you to, to purchase something that you would like to live in by that time, mm -hmm. right? By the time the building comes to completion. And when it comes to your, your, your price, you know what I mean, with the, compared to other yeah. developments around, what do you think, where are you standing in, you know, with your price? So if, if you look at the actual pricing at 1,025 on average, um, it, it is the best price point you will find in all of downtown Hamilton. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can say that with certainty. If you look at the, the fact that the project is currently under construction, it also allows for this price point to be at a more reasonable basis. Uh, then let's say some of the uh, other projects that are launching close by, right? So. Not only are you buying into an area like Hamilton where you're buying at the most affordable price point in the entire GTHA, but you're buying the most affordable price point in the city as well. So it really puts you a step above. So that brings us to another incentive that's being brought in for, for brokers like yourself, for platinum yeah. brokers, <laughs> uh, $20,000 off the purchase price, right? So having that, that price point reduced for the opening period is something for a short period of time you're going to be able to purchase. You know you've already effectively made that lift, mm -hmm. right, in a short window. Yes. Having uh, the, the development levies capped at a very reasonable rate, right, seven to 9,000, it's incredibly important because by the time you go to closing, you know that the, it's not gonna be another 20,000 or yeah, another right. $18,000 fee. Surprises, let's say, right, at the end of the day. Exactly, so that's very important. Deposit structure, the credit on closing, right to lease, reduced assignment fee, everything that we've put together, the, the reduced parking cost, 
it really creates the most attractive and affordable option, not only again within Hamilton, but throughout the entire GTHA. And also the peace of mind that you mentioned a couple of times already that this is already under construction. Correct. So we're gonna have some footages, you know, for you guys to see what's over there because there is people already lifting, you know, <laughs> but you, you can you see, know? you can you see. see every day the, the, the Seeing is believing. Advancing. Yeah, it's going fast and fast and fast, even though like it's for 2026, but they're already starting on the construction. But why, why, why this developer decided to do it this way compared to other developers that they try to sell first and then so start I, building? I think the, the financial capability of the developer has allowed for this to take place. And I think that in a market like today, certainty is invaluable. Right, like the ability to know that something is going to be complete, uh, to know that this will actually happen, yes. you can't put a price tag on that. So they've gone ahead and taken that extra step. They've, they've spent the extra money effectively to start construction beforehand, just to give that assurance, to showcase to your clients, this is something that's taking place one way or another. And that's why you guys decided to put this uh, beautiful studio it, here, pre presentation exactly. so when the people come in, they can see through the window that actual construction yep. is happening right beside it right so it's amazing i i love to um, that you gave us this opportunity because for our clients you know as agents we're trying to give as much information as possible and for them to feel comfortable yep. to have the confidence that they can put their trust in a project like this and um, they have we have all the information here available we have all the four plans we get we provide you know what i mean all the uh price list to our clients, all the incentives is upfront. We're not going to have surprises later on, yeah, right? Exactly. So everything is upfront for them to make the right decision, the responsible decision. And today, what we're seeing here with James, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you, thank to, you so uh, much for coming in. Beautiful. And I will, I will try to see if I can translate this in Spanish I don't know, <laughs> to all our community that is also coming. Uh, they're very eager and excited about these beautiful projects that are happening in Hamilton. I hope we can continue working together. I look forward to, to it. Grow our, our business together. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much Jane. Thank, Thank you, you again. Much. Thank you, guys. I say goodbye to everybody that is listening to us, and we're going to let you guys know. And please contact us, 416 214 2600. We're going to have all the information available, all these brochures, four plans, uh, priceless, heartless, and all the incentives that uh, this project is given to you. Take care. Thank you.